Hello, 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 and we're here. Hey, everyone, how are y'all doing today? On this Tuesday morning. Boy, oh boy, y'all, look, Facebook, I I gotta tell y'all the story, but I'll let you, I'll let more of you come in. <laughs> I'll let more of you come in right now. So let's see who's here. Oh, Facebook was all messed up. You were having tech problems, Deborah? This video was created in This um So were we. But guess what? We're here. So originally, I was going to go into Facebook and announce to the group I was going to announce to the group that I would not be coming on today, right? Because we're still trying to get orders done uh, for the kit for the, for the spring kits. By the way, which have sold out. The update is that this. Thank you, Lord. The spring kits have sold out. Here's the thing, though. I was going on Facebook to cancel the live. Guess what happened? Facebook was not working. <coughs> Facebook was not working. I was trying to cancel the live. So as I went on to Facebook, I couldn't log in. It asked me to change my password. It was doing all kinds of stuff. Did anyone else have those problems? Give me thumbs up myself. I was going on Facebook David to cancel sure the live. That. Facebook was not working. Shannon had that. Guess what? We're live. <laughs> At the time that I tried to cancel the live. NEW. For today, Facebook went down. I think it's, uh, they say it's worldwide, Deborah Couture said. So blame it on Facebook. <laughs> blame it on Facebook. I was going to cancel the live, y'all. Because we still have so much to do with the orders. And I, I don't like not having your orders out to you in a timely fashion. So, yeah, I was going to, I went on Facebook to cancel the live. And Facebook would not let me in. It said uh, password doesn't work. <laughs> it said the password was not working. How timely is that? Somebody else was having YouTube issues. They said it's Facebook. Instagram, I'm not sure what other social media is. I haven't, I was just going on Facebook so I can, I have been off social media trying to get on Facebook. I think it's, it's fixed now. It's fixed like at the last minute. But Bill was trying to help me. I was like, what is going on? And then I saw where it said uh, Facebook, um, I think we Googled it and it said Facebook was down worldwide. But then Google went down. Look, sometimes things happen. God said, no, you won't. You will go live today. What? Tanisha being terrible. They said the, all, the, 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 uh, the orders will get done, but you need to go live today. So here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Zell Storm says, I'm always signed in, so I didn't know. But yes, we're always signed in, too, until today. It signed me out. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe this is something new. Well, finally, I went, I said, let me check mine and see what's happening. And uh, lo and behold, mine was looking this strange like Tracy's. Then we looked it up and discovered it was a worldwide thing. Worldwide? Of course, we blamed it on Sonya Creel, so it all worked out. It worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 
Well, since Tanisha's being terrible, I guess we have to put the blame on Tanisha instead. We got to blame somebody, okay? Somebody got to have it. But guess what? We're here. I said, Bill, let me go ahead and cancel a lot because we got to work on more orders. Uh, I didn't want to stop, so... Um, God said, you, 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 go to, you better go ahead and stop. I'm going to make you stop. I'm going to shut down. <laughs> You're not telling them nothing. You're not going to go on there and leave them no messages. <laughs> you will not cancel your live stream. You know what I'm saying, Zal Storm? You certainly will not. Oh, I'm going to need my scoreboard. Actually, let's see. Y'all don't pay me any attention right now. I'm just going to cut this down real quick, and then I'll tell you what I'm doing. Yeah, so that that was basically it. I was coming on to tell y'all, hey. Hey, <laughs> hey y'all, not today. And guess what God said? Uh, today. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia said she has something for the two of us to figure out. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. I'm brain dead right now, so I can't figure out not one thing, Sonia. <laughs> yeah, you can. I, I think you were still first today. You can. It's going to take more than Facebook to, to get you for not being first. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Yep, God had another plan for us, y'all. He said, "Nope, y'all have to. Y'all need to be on there live." I don't care if you've been up packaging orders. You need to take a rest from this and get on that live. And then when I tried to go announce in the group, me and Bill must have tried for about thirty minutes trying to get on, and we were like, "Okay, what's going on?" And sure enough. Of course, now that I'm on, it's up, right? <laughs> Seven Hoffman Girl says, I'm glad you didn't cancel. I need a little oh. sunshine today. Good oh, to see you. Oh, see? There you go. There's the answer right there. Oh, I'm so glad that I'm glad that we didn't cancel. That that because God has another plan, you know? Brother says, with that being said, what you're making? Um I'm gonna do some marble. Paper clay, paper clay. See, this is some why we're gonna make some paper. Clay. This is why I didn't want to come on live. Okay, y'all gonna hear me stumble through words right now. Okay, Don Connor, I can truly say you're right on time. Yep, timing, timing is you're you're right here at the right time. Sarah Slago, Sarah, we were looking you up. We looked up everything but Slago. Okay. Actually, we looked up Slagle, but we didn't see the other thing. But he, eventually, it all worked out. Hi. <laughs> it was for the, for the order that you had placed, Sarah. Yeah. We were like, is this Sarah's? <laughs> I said, I don't think this is Sarah's Slagle, but I think it is at the same time. I don't know how many of these I'm going to be doing. Crafty Mom! So, yep, we'll be on. We're, we're, we're on, y'all. Live. Crafty Mom, <laughs> did you get your download? I sent you one. I was waiting to make sure, but I didn't I couldn't find out. Three by six. Like, why is she just cutting up cutting up papers? Sarah what? Slagle. She said her email is on her maid name. And you know what? It's the maid name, the beginning initials, is as far from S as could possibly be. <laughs> Maybe it was close. Like W or something. It's Q, you know what I mean? Oh, y'all needed some mindless crafting today. We needed y'all too. We, we just didn't know it because we, <laughs> we were so focused on packing up orders y'all and what a blessing it is but when i got on to try to cancel 
for those of you coming in late, I tried to cancel on Facebook and say we will not be um, on today. Uh, we will not be doing a live see y'all on Thursday. God had another plan. <laughs> he had another plan. He said, no, nope. Facebook is shut down. You, you're not telling them anything. And sometimes you have to listen to the message. Because I wanted to cancel. I told Bill I'm going to cancel the live today. And um, and then I went on Facebook to try to cancel the live. By the time I could figure that out, they were down, it was too late to cancel the live. So here we are. <laughs> so Instagram was down. Facebook was down. But guess what? The live stream on YouTube is up. It's up. <laughs> Art. C. Junk says, what's the best address to send a card? Happy birthday. I'll put it in. The P.O., yes. P.O. box is best. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so let me focus on what I'm doing. I'm trying to be nosy and read y'all comments. Yeah, so here we are, y'all. Hey, it may have been your way, their way of telling you, get up and get busy. YouTube for the win. You can't mess with God. That's right, Donna Satterley. And so you have to realize the message. So you can say, oh, my goodness, Facebook is not coming on. I'm just so frustrated, such and such, and this and that. But then you can look at it as a blessing. So sometimes in the frustration, in the frustration, that's not our, um, Bill, that's the wrong P.O. Oh, my fault. Uh, Disregard that P.O., y'all. That's not the right P.O. box. Sorry, I'm, I'm being nosy. Then how come it's here? We just, okay, 2023, that's why. Okay, I'll fix it. Hold on, let me keep I don't on. think you're in the live. Yeah. Um, it's in the frustration. Sometimes we get frustrated and it's God's way of telling us to go. I'm trying to lead you in another direction, but we still looking. Well, let me change my password. Boy, I still didn't get in. Well, let me do it. We're still over here trying to do all of those things. We're trying to do all of those things over on this side of but God is directing us, no, I need you to look over here. This is where I need you to be. So when you see that accident ahead, don't get frustrated because there's an accident ahead of you and you're stuck in traffic because I needed you to avoid, I needed you to avoid, right? I needed you to avoid the accident that just happened while you were on your way. I need you not to be in that accident. And so we'll be sitting there in our frustration, not saying, not thanking God. We need to be thanking God in the frustration that, man, something, something is some kind of protection that God has put over me. There's a protection there. And his protection was to make you avoid that accident. So yeah, we just um All right, that's the correct PO box right there. Selena G. So when Facebook is shut down, it's a blessing. It's a blessing that Facebook was shut down because I was gonna cancel the live, getting frustrated that I couldn't get on Facebook, but then I said, nope, it's because you need to go live. That's why. Because someone needs to hear the message. Don't get frustrated. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it is that you have for me, but I, I thank you for the protection. Just a mom needed to be on here with us. And I think she commented early. I didn't see what the comment who, was, but everyone's who, just, who just a mom. Oh, I'll read it. Look, Julie said, <laughs> Julie said, amen. It 
at Facebook being shut down. Okay, just a mom said I never talk much. But today, can I ask for prayers for our heart dog? She was attacked by a dog yesterday. Is in the oh. hospital after two surgeries to repair damage. I need God so much today. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Selena. Baby. Selena G says, good afternoon, Tracy and Bill and everyone. I just want to say that the Marble Ink Digital Paper Collection is amazingly gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I got my download several days ago. Gorgeous. Thank you. I love all 48. Glad to hear you got this, the download. I was trying to see if Crafty Ma got her download, but I just have to assume she got it. Okay, let's see. Uh, who else? Uh, you know what's really interesting? Sometimes we'll think Okay, well, hey, I was delayed, so maybe I was prevented from being in an accident. But your being delayed could have actually delayed someone else from being in an accident. So you know? sometimes you, what you have to do is in the frustration, sometimes you have to take a breather and say, Lord, I thank you for whatever it is that was ahead. Wherever ever it was that you needed me to be on this live today and not on Facebook, trying to get a message to cancel the live, you needed me to do that. And sometimes it, it may not, sometimes it's almost like we get so frustrated because things don't go our way. Because God wants you to go another way and he wants you to choose another way. Now I have the way for you, right? Because he is the light and he's the way. And so sometimes we'll we'll see through our physical eyes not knowing that there's something, there's a blessing somewhere in there for you, right? So sometimes you may say, because we're only human, we may get frustrated like, oh my goodness, I can't get on here. Calm down. Let me look for the blessing. Let me thank you, Lord. Because even if you don't know what it is, still thank him. Even if you don't know what that blessing is that's coming your way, I'm still here and I'm breathing. And you pray for the person that's ahead of you that got into that accident, that they're not hurt. Take a moment to pray for them too. Right? Like right now, we're taking a moment to pray for just a mom who lost her dog, right? They hadn't lost the dog yet. Dogs oh, for dogs being injured. I'm so sorry. For the, her dog being injured. We're praying for her right now. She needs us. We need each other. So even in our frustration sometimes, we need to take a moment. And that moment, we need to say, thank you, Lord. I don't know what it is, but I know you have better for me. I know there's some protection that you have over me. And I just want to thank you, Lord. You might be struggling right now, but even in the struggle, as hard as it can be and as challenging as it can be, you still have to say, thank you, Lord. Whatever it is, this is only a moment. And no matter what, right? No matter what lies ahead, God is already there. We don't see it, but he sees it. And that's where that faith comes in. So here we are on the live. <laughs> here we are. Um, so I'm making these paper clip uh, marble paper thingies, okay? And I, I have to... Um, I did a tutorial on the paper clips, but I wanted to see what they would look like in this marble paper. So that was one of the things that came to me. So I resized that marble paper um, so that I can cut it down to see what it looks like. And so, you know, you can do the full size of this or you can just do a uh, part, partial size, you know, like just make it however big you want it to be. And so what I did was I, let me show you what I did. I cut these down to three and a half, right? So I resized them three and a half by about four, about four and a half. 
I probably won't need all of it though. I definitely won't. Sorry, y'all. There's a delivery truck outside. Is it back right house? <laughs> it's close enough. Okay. I'm shocked this strawberry didn't start barking at it. Strawberry so don't get them. Look, this leave me. That's the marble ink, right? Okay, let me. Uh, this is the marble ink paper. Well, come on, put the link for this. Oh, uh, Cindy, I must have missed the paper. Not part of the kit, is it? No, it's not part of the kit. This is this is part of the um. It's this called... is the marble ink paper. So this is the marble ink and. Actually, there is a for you know it's National Craft Month, right, y'all? <laughs> it's National Craft Month. That truck did not. By golly, the truck didn't come. You're fired. <laughs> these are the digitals. Yes, these are the digitals. Um, it's um, National Craft Month this March, and I posted something about it yesterday. And someone, I think it was Jill Pounds, she said, is Jill on here? She said, but isn't every day uh, craft month for us? And you know what? She's so right. Well, officially. <laughs> no, it's not for every day. Officially for us, every day is craft month. <laughs> yeah, but right about now, for 24 hours. Oh, I love Allison. Allison Thedford said, it is marvelous. But 24 yes, it hours, is. we're doing a 24-hour flash sale. Yes, and we have a 24-hour flash sale on the um, the entire store. So basically, it's 30% off the order. Whatever your order, the discount is going to be applied automatically at the checkout. There's no need to put anything in. Uh, it ends Wednesday, tomorrow at 12 noon. Eastern. Crystal says it's also Women's Month. And it's Tracy and her birthday month. It's Crystal. so many different months, huh? It's got a lot going on this month. It's my birthday month. Carmina, I'm not firing anybody in the group today. Only the people outside the window. I hope. <laughs> I have to add that in there. Oh, let me see what Gay Tan said something. Let's see. Uh... She says, Tracy, I'm sorry I couldn't send you a birthday card. I was too crap, sick to crap. Oh. You got the whole month now. We knew you were sick, too sick to crap. That's true. Yeah, we knew that you were sick. Do, do your thing, okay? But if there's any consolation, Tracy celebrates her birthday for the entire month of March. And I think uh, somebody on here gave Tracy an mm -hmm. extra month. <laughs> Just go ahead and go into <laughs> April. Who can remember, who can recall Kmart Blue Light special? What was that, a sale? Right, every day is National Craft Month for us. I think I remember that, Sonny Creel. I remember that. I used to take the blue cart thing and... and, and and they would wheel it to wherever the thing was, and the light would go shining. Remember that phrase? Oh, I didn't shop at Kmart. Oh, excuse me. Mm -mm -mm. Kmart was yesteryear's Walmart. Back then, we didn't think nothing could top Kmart, did we? We sure did. And then Walmart came. And Walmart along, came and just. What does that tell you? You know the rest. <laughs> Julie Jones said she had Kmart sub sandwiches. Oh, y'all look too sweet. Man. 60, 
Celebrating 61st birthday, y'all. Cindy W says our oldest turns 50 in March. You only 52 yourself, Cindy. Mm, mm, mm. A happy birthday to your oldest. Look how pretty that is. Either way you turn it, it's pretty. But it's supposed to go this way. Look how pretty that is. And you got, in this kit, this collection has... 48. 48 of these marble ink papers. It was so many, I, I just couldn't even put them all in there. I had to just... If you go to that, to where the link is, though, you'll be able to see what they look like. And they look even better when you download them. Look how gorgeous. Oh. I'm anxious to see what you got to do with that marble paper. Well, I'm going to do the paper clip things, but I just want to cut these out. Um, cut enough of these out. You could you could also use these as card toppers, y'all. You could use these as card toppers. You can cut out the individual indi individual <laughs> individual individual. <laughs> I like that blue one. It has a softness. That's because you had them suit pants that color that I had to throw out. Y'all, Bill came up. Bill had the nerve. What I do to now? um he when we were dating oh, and you wore I those blue you pants you wore those blue pants he wore some pants that was about this color y'all and I think he told me he had I a, had a Steve, matching jacket too <laughs> Steve Harvey specials okay <sighs> yes I'll put the link again I hope I will see yeah grab the digis because you get that thirty percent off I'm just a mom. So, yes, I mean, this is a good time to stock up. I mean, because it's crafting month. But with that 24-hour uh, sale, it's a good time to stock up. This is a good deal today. Um, so, <laughs> Bill had the nerve to come. Did we go out? We went out on a date, didn't we? No, I went to your mother's. Did I go to your mother's? Oh, you did. I was introducing you to my mother for the first time, and you and wore sister. those pants. I was like, Ancestor. he did not come correct. I was so cool. Thank you, Don. Stretch it on the stand, Don Connor. Tracy's like, I was so cool. It was a shot. I was scared of myself. Okay? <laughs> Allison. Right, Allison said, uh-oh, Tracy bringing up some way back in the day clothing choices. I was them. so sharp, even a tackle would have been afraid you of me. You was not sharp. Okay? You was not, a, you were not sharp. You was, you were bright though. You, you were, know what, <laughs> that's because you were all conservative. You were bright. Bill, I'm not. Don't you want me to look like an undertaker? There is no grown man going to have pants like this on, okay? Well, my grown man did. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia then, Krill, you're getting close to these guys Son, outside my window. Sonia, he had the Sonia nerve. Sonia Krill. He had the Sonia nerve. Krill. Hi, to Donna. Tell me he had a he had a matching jacket, but he couldn't find it. Thank you, Lord. That would have been a deal breaker. I was so sorry. <laughs> it was a shame. Okay. You were so what? So I said, let me let, I ain't say nothing about it because, you know, we dating. I was trying to get, well, no, we were further in if, I, if you were meeting my mother. You may be glad I couldn't find my hat. By that time, I really, really liked you by that time. So. You hear me? Huh? And you may be glad I couldn't find my hat. Please. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, there was a hat? <laughs> so I Thank said, you, I said. Uh, so here's what I said. Well, once he actually proposed, like a couple, you know, like exactly. like a year later, right? Thank you, son. A year or two later, he proposed. First thing that went to my mind, I'm gonna get rid of them blue pants. He don't know, <laughs> but I'm getting rid of those. You know blue what? Pants. I, and I really couldn't find them. They are so. Says, "Yep, you're plenty of grown men that would have those pants on right that color on right now. I see the pants in the store. No, Lord, no." That's a winner right there. I would look. <laughs> Whoo. Every time I had to teach my husband how to dress. Exactly. Hey, but you know what? I, I was, 
After we got married, I, I wondered how come I'd be sitting on the bed. Like, Sit on the bed. <laughs> when I'm done, I'll oh, dress you and the joy. kids. <laughs> Bill is a fashionista, Norma. The kids are like, Mama gonna dress us. I like, yeah, Mama gonna dress us, ain't she? Look, Carmina. Carmina <laughs> said, Bill, Bill handsome. Aw, he wanted to make a big impression to your mom, Tracy. No, look. Thank you, Carmina. I, I know how my mother and my sister Thank are. You, Norma. They would have been like, no, be bringing that man up here. Look, you know? I was <laughs> consulted to Steve Harvey collection. Okay. Ouch, my jaw hurt. <sighs> what? Crystal? Come on, baby. You see what Crystal said? Uh, she said her ex-husband showed up at the family weddings with his hair cut so messed up, everybody was asking him, did, asking her, did he have cancer? Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm. Ow, my jaw. Teresa Hunter, stop. <laughs> Hey, read hey. Teresa, read Teresa's Teresa, Teresa, yes, he had pleather shoes. <laughs> Let me go get my pleather shoes. Oh my goodness, ouch. No, Allison, it wasn't a leisure shoot. So although I did have some of those back in the day. Mine looked like Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> you had to had a collar right on the on the leisure oh, suit. Oh my goodness, stop because I'm drinking tea, y'all. I don't be doing this to me. I'm what? gonna drink some tea. Chris was saying his head came to a point. You thought he was like one of the cone heads? <laughs> Chris had a cone head, man. Y'all stop it. Ouch. Y'all are hurting. <laughs> oh my goodness, my jaw is hurting. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. So your, so your family, met, so your family right here, but hey, how you doing? Oh, you were great in the movie. Look, they, they <laughs> look, my sister and my mother would. They must have really liked you because they didn't talk about your pants, but they must have been like, child. <laughs> After he, building, he child, when he child. <laughs> yeah. <Girl. sighs> Karen said, "Bill, you would love my uncle. He was Mr. GQ." Exactly. <sighs> Oh, ouch, my jaw is hurting. Oh my Dorothy god. Dorothy and Miss Powers understand. Y'all are hurting me right now. I needed this. Sarah Slago has this to go. Comedic relief. I need some comedy relief today. Okay. We have been packing up orders and just really working hard for y'all. Um oh my Ooh. goodness. Ouch, my jaw is like hurting. What? Sam, sorry to the whole family? <laughs> Son says my bestie has a man with that shaped head and her sons. Are they wearing Ooh. look? Are they wearing blue pants? Mm -hmm. Ouch! Y'all are hurting me. <laughs> I know how my mother. I was like, I hope they don't come. I said I really like Bill because he's getting ready to meet my mother and my sister. Exactly. And I was like, please don't let them talk about his pants. Because I know how me and my sister, <laughs> I know how me and my sister used to be back in the day. Her flyness said, did the shoes have gold for them? <laughs> uh, her flyness, they wasn't like, I'm going to get you sucker shoes, okay? <laughs> Karen Hankerson. Can I, can I, I, I gotta, I gotta move on with this, Bill. I gotta make my stuff here, okay? What? Oh, Crystal. my goodness. Crystal, I'm about to call CPS on Crystal. Y'all too funny. Crystal says, when my son was born, before his head formed, I was smashing his head into the right shape. <laughs> you will not be a cold head Leave like the cold head daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Y'all, excuse my husband, because he knows not what he does. Okay. Y'all are hurting my jaw. <sighs> oh 
Oh my goodness. Being freak, you would never have a picture of that. Of what? Bill's pants? You and your pants, babe? What? Mm. I'm going to score this now, y'all. Okay, so to make these paper clip thingies, let me pick out a couple of paper clips here. So we got some blue. <laughs> we got some blue ones. Oh, that's going to look pretty. Oh, there's a little bit of orange in there, too. We'll oh, see. Chris was trying to decorate it. She trying to she oh, oh I softly massaged his his newborn head. Yeah, did you can well, do you that? Can make a read that other comment. I don't think Crystal said <laughs> I smashed his head. <laughs> and somehow that he came. No, you just got it. I, I softly massaged. That's what she said in court. Oh, Your Honor, I softly massaged <laughs> his head. It just sounded like this. Crystal, don't listen to him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The judge <laughs> like, I see, I, I see, uh, bailiff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, blue pants, but can Bill dance? I do one leg, okay? Bill, can you dance? I do, okay? I do one leg, that's it. That's a whole nother thing, y'all. I can dance. Bill? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Miss Cheryl. Miss Cheryl's mom had to get the Lord on her side. She said, <laughs> when my mom saw my first son, she said, Oh Lord. <laughs> the child is illy for. But then she saw that it was only the soft part. And eventually everything worked out. Oh, see, Crystal did good. See, now her 37-year-old son has a beautifully shaped head, thanks to Crystal. And so does her grandson. So there. Crystal did good. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, so let me let me let y'all know what I'm doing here. Yeah, let's I, get back to it. I'm laughing at... at... <laughs> you blaming on Barbara Lane. Barbara Lane, like, what well, are we blaming on me? I just got here. Y'all are too funny, Okay. He can sing. He can't. He can't dance, but he can sing. He can create music. Get on one leg, okay. And he's bald with the goatee, so I'm I'm good, even with the bright colored pants, which no longer, no longer are here. But I like that bright blue, just not in pants. A gay tan. I already read Karen Hankins' comment, but Tracy, I already. Okay, I'm gonna say it again to so, so y'all. Oh, what was it? Remember when you said, uh, you said Karen Hankins said, Bill, you will love my uncle. He is Mr. GQ. Remember you said that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Three. Okay, so this is three by six, y'all. We're going to cut these down to uh, oh. one and a third. One. I'm sorry. One and three quarters by four and a half. So I actually can do that now, can I? Okay, Karen Hankerson also said her uncle went to a red hat Valentine party. And he rocked red from head to toe. Oh wow. He was cool. He was he wasn't playing, okay. He was not playing. Okay, so I need this to be four. Let's see. Is this four? This is almost four. This is almost four, y'all. Let's let's go ahead and cut these down. Cause y'all y'all got me off track talking about blue pants. That was my fault. No, this needs to be actually this needs to be four and a half. Ooh, I would have cut this down too small. So this is just about four and a half. So that'll work. That'll work. You sound so happy. One and three quarters by four and a half. One and three quarters. All right, let's see what Tracy does here. So I was trying to size it when I was printing it out, trying to get the right size. I came up a little short, but it's okay because that'll just make beautiful scraps. Okay, so one and a half by four and three quarters. Oh, and Cheryl, I already, I already messed up, y'all. Look at that. Mrs. Cheryl said, "Where did you get that uh, cutting board at?" 
the Scorpio. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Someone gave me this as a gift a long time ago. I'm yeah. going to cut this little piece off right here. So this is what we're left with. Look how pretty. So at, at any angle, you've got these pretty strips here. So we're going to we're going to save these cuz you're going to need one for each of these. So let's just put this to the side for now. Here, that's a good name. Top this one shelf. right here. That's going to That nice. was his name. His name was Top Shelf. That's cool. I love it. I do too. Y'all over there in tears. Well, y'all talking about the blue pants still? <laughs> They're not in tears over there. Tears of happiness. <sighs> Reese's Hunter has that that same uh, scoreboard. She got it from Walmart. Yeah, someone bought this a while ago. For me as a gift. Hi, Deb C. Okay, so one and a half. I already messed up. It's supposed to be one and three quarters, y'all. I'm just going to keep going. It's supposed to be one and three quarters, so I already messed up. One and three quarters. It's supposed to be one and three quarters. So I already messed up, y'all. But that's so okay. We're going to make it work. I don't know how yet, but it's going to work. Thank you, Karen Hickerson. Thank y'all for the laughs. Karen Hickerson said, no, you didn't. You did not mess up. You just created an, a creative opportunity. Gigi Andrew says, the marble paper is gorgeous. It is so pretty. And I'm cutting through the bird's beak. Sonia, it wasn't powder blue. It was like a a bright. It was like this right here. Let's see. You see this little piece right here? It's a shame that I remember. How many years ago was that? 17? Yeah, it was about, yeah, it's about like that color right there. It was nice. About boy. 18 years ago? It was right about that. And I still remember that exact color. I had this shirt. It was mostly like a beige with some slight blue with lavender like. Ooh, it was so cool. It was so cool. Mm -hmm. and, and the shirt kind of went to my middle of my thigh like a kind of that thing was tight, man. You couldn't tell me nothing. Okay. The shirt went to the middle of your thigh. Right here. It went to right here. It came down kind of long like. Y'all, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. I was one so thing. cool. Ooh, this is so pretty. Now that I'm cutting them down into the strips. And it was short sleeve. These are so pretty. Now that I'm cutting them down a little bit. Even yeah, though three, short, that, that's a little bit short of one and three quarters, but that's okay. But the short sleeves went all the way to my elbow center. It was tight. It's pure Steve Harvey. Okay. Mm. Charmaine said all she knows is I traumatized you. He traumatized me because I'm still remembering. That's what that's why the marble paper is this color. Okay. I was so traumatized, I'm still making stuff that color. In the video. It's kind of like a mindless crafting blue, isn't it, man? I'm praying. Thank you, Linda Bill. Is praying for me that I find my blue pants. <laughs> thank you, Linda. He ain't gonna find them. <laughs> Let's see, goes. Not in my incinerator. <laughs> see, yep, that'll work. Okay, the little paper clippy things. Cindy says she remembers getting her son a suit like that when he was about two years old. <laughs> Cindy! <laughs> was it for Easter? Now I think about my brother had one on. He he wore one for Easter way back in the day. How old was he? He was about in third or fourth grade. <laughs> uh, it was cool that Annie had the hat. He had the matching blue hat on. Mm -hmm. Woo! Memories. You know what I'm Teresa Hunter. Look, memories. Teresa Hunter talking about some man probably walking out of town right now with Bill's blue pants and my husband's pleather shoes. It was a blessing. Someone else needed to have it. 
Someone else needed to have it. Karen Hankins is here. Could you please hold up your scoreboard? Oh, okay. Oh, here's this. The uh, website is on there, too. See that? That was Easter. Score-pal.com. What? And I think if you look up Score Pal, this has the eighths, which is what I like. It has the eighths on it. So, you know, it. I, I like the fact that it has the eighths marks on those. Oh, my goodness. That is hilarious. Okay, so I'm going to take this now, right? And these I could put aside now, but I'm going to take, and I may cut, I did a few extras. These could actually be go on cards if you want them to. Let me just show you what those look like. If you would add them to a card. I, I think Linda Veal and Mrs. Show they both want score pails. So if you was to add it to a card, it would look like this. Or you could add it on a white base. I wouldn't mind adding it on a nice, clean white base. GG Andrews. I should have Gigi said. What Gigi said? She talking about Bill. Tracy made those pants even hotter by putting them in the fire. <laughs> Gigi. Gigi. <laughs> Something like that. Look how pretty that looks. Just in case y'all are wondering, it'll be it could be a journal cover because there's some with birds on it. If you look at that marble, if you look at the entire collection, there's some with birds, there's some with flowers, um, and then you got the basic marble, like a marbleized um, paper that's just marble throughout. So yeah, but that's what it would look like if you were to put it on a card. K-10, don't be laughing at Gigi. <laughs> K-10, it's funny. You laugh your heart out. We needed this laugh. We, needed, laugh we this. needed this laugh today. Facebook shut down and we needed this laugh. God said, y'all need to laugh. Linda says she loves yellow. That yellow's gorgeous. Okay, so you're going to score this one half inch all the way around, Okay. So look, watch how easy this comes together. I'm watching. One half inch. Sarah Johnson. Hey, Sarah. Right? And when I do mine, I just usually just flip it over and do it again. Half inch all, oops. Half inch all the way around. Do you ever have, did you ever have marbles that look like this, Bill? Like where you can see right through the marble, it's got that like the cat's eye. Yeah, that one. Yep, that's exactly. I did. I used to act like I can play marbles, but I really want to know that good. Danny, my my best friend at the time. He played marbles. Danny Alvarez. Oh my God, Danny can shoot a marble from across the street and hit some stuff. Okay. Okay, so this is what would this is what you should have, and then in the middle of it. You're going to do three inches right now in the middle. Okay. Half inch scored on the sides and three inch down the middle. Well, there you go. Because you love that machine, don't you? Hmm? Hold on, wait a minute, wait, this is, to me this is not lining up the way I need it to, huh? Let me mm -hmm. see, the inch mark is off by a little bit, right Francis. there. I'm just messing up all the way. Francis says she loves birds. They can hear the birds when they periodically sing outside. Like that one. That one, tweet, tweet. Okay, let's go ahead and score. Okay. 
you know, I have the window open and and it's it's kind of like raining, drizzly like outside. Sarah Johnson says, I thought I was going crazy when Facebook logged me off my my account. You too, right? Talking about I don't have a password and email address. Wait a minute, Facebook. What are y'all talking and about? And I tried to go through the steps too. Still couldn't get in. We stopped thinking it was a hacker. Yeah, at first I was like, mm, this might be a hack. And then yeah, I was like, her? yeah, that was the first thing we were thinking. Okay. Come on, Terry. I'm making the hidden paper clips, y'all, but I want to use the marble paper to make those because it had been on my mind and I was like, I'm going to make those. And I will share the video, the straight up tutorial for making these. I will share that tutorial so that um, in the description of this video. Oh, might as well go ahead and do the three inch right down the middle. You know what song that is? Oh no. You don't know. Bill, you know what song that is. Somebody knows what song this is that I'm humming. I don't know what that is. Oh, so tomorrow never comes. Huh? I don't know. Oh my goodness, my husband. I don't know what it is. Oh, Sarah's going to, you know, you know what, Sarah? It should be, I think it fixed its own self. Sarah, tell her the log just close out of that, 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 uh, let, that window, open a new window. Yeah, because all of a sudden it just came right back up and I was able to get in. At least say you're the wind beneath my wings. Is that what you were saying? Oh. Is that what you were you saying? You know what, I could see how that could, could do that. Fresh is his beauty in the beast. <laughs> Nope, it's not Beauty and the Beast. I don't know what it was. What was it for you to get? I couldn't seem to fall asleep. Is that what that was? There I did not know that's so that was. much on my mind. Minister Liz got it. Minister Liz got it. Wait a minute. Let's see. Uh, let's... This is a message. I know this. The re... I'm not just humming it for. Put it in there, Chris. The title, let's see. Yup, let go and let God. Let go of Facebook and let God. Let go. We be standing in the way. Let's see where the lyrics are on this. Cause the lyrics are pretty deep. And there's somebody that's going through this right now. Look what it says. I couldn't seem to fall asleep. There was so much on my mind. Bill, read the lyrics while I do this, Corey. Searching for that peace. But the peace I could not find. <clears throat> so then I kneel down to pray. Praying, help me please. But then he said, you don't have to cry. Because I'll supply all your needs. Right. Look what he said. He said, but then he said, you don't have to cry. Why? Because I will supply all your needs. He says, as soon as I stop worrying. Yes. Worrying how the story ends. How it ends. I let go and I let God have his way. And that's when things started happening. 
That's when what I stopped happened. looking at back then, I let go and I let God have his way. We need to trust him, yep. Not always trust in Facebook. A great lesson for me too. Me too, exactly, Linda Veal. He said, I have to realize that it's not my battle. It's not my battle to fight. I have to know if I put it in your hands that everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Okay, Facebook shut down, but guess what? Everything's all right. Are you Are you injured? Ooh, no. I have Facebook that acted wrong. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I need to let go. Sometimes we got to sign off, okay? I'm about to take the dog out right quick. Dwayne Woods sings that, okay? I had let him out before we came. But he's scratching my leg off. Come on, dog. Let go and let God. That's it. Hey, Malaya Branch. How are you? Somebody, somebody couldn't find the peace that they needed last night. They were up all night, couldn't find the peace. Right? Yep. I have stuff coming up on my timeline in Facebook, and I have to block. I have to block people sometimes because I don't want to see that in my feed. I just don't want to see it. And so sometimes we have to block it out. And this may be some way of God saying, you know what? We need to just, I need to get them off of Facebook. I'm shutting it down. And Tracy, you will not cancel this live today. You're not going in there to put no message in there. I was going to cancel y'all the live today for those of y'all that tune in in late. It's just a little testimony because I wanted that. I, I was getting frustrated because I couldn't log in. And I tried several attempts. And then I said, you know what? This is God's way of saying to me, you need to go live. I don't, I don't need you to put, he blocked my message, which was trying to tell y'all we won't be live today because we're pa packing up orders. Because I said, my, I had all my stuff planned out. I'm going to do orders today. I'm not, I wasn't going to take a break during the live. To come on live, I was just going to get the orders out because I was trying to prioritize stuff, right? But God, so I said, let me go ahead, Bill, and log in and go let them know that we won't be live today because I don't like canceling the lives. And guess what happened? Couldn't log on to Facebook. And now I'm getting all huffy and puffy because I can't log in. And then I had to look for the message. And the message was, you need to be live. You need to go live. I, I ain't tell you to cancel nothing. You need to be live. <laughs> <sighs> and I need some of your crafty family to come off Facebook too and go and be on the live with you. Right. You got to let go and let God and find out what the message is. Got to let them know what the message is. Yes, Tracy, we needed the laughter. Yes. Sometimes you got a plan worked out. You got your day all planned out, which is what I had. <laughs> I had the day all worked out and all planned out. But God has another plan. He has another plan. So it says on here, here's what the, the let go and let God. I couldn't seem to fall asleep. Who is on here who could not seem to fall asleep because there was so much on their mind?
right? Someone's not at peace right now. They, they don't feel, they feel uneasy and they're not on at peace. And so this is a reminder for you to find your peace right now, whatever it takes. And maybe crafting is a thing that helps you and allows you to find that peace that you need right now. That thing that's keeping you up at night in the wee hours of the morning sometimes. In the wee hours of the morning, you're worried about stuff, but God says, I have it all taken care of, but I need you to focus on me. The only way you're going to get through it is if you focus on me. I don't need you to turn your head away from me. I don't need you to be focusing on Facebook. I need you to focus on me. So when Facebook went down, I said, thank you, Lord. That was my message that I needed to be on this live today. That was my message. And so here I am on, on the live. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad that you are tuned in here. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for waking me up this morning. And forgive me, Lord, for being frustrated over something called Facebook. Because you needed me to do something. You needed me to do your will. Right? You didn't need me to be on Facebook. He takes the simplest things for a message. You better speak it, Miss Cheryl. It's the simplest things. God can talk to you in the simplest way. But you have to be prepared to see it. Sometimes we don't see it because we're distracted by all the things around us. So we don't see it. But God is always trying to speak to us and give us a message. And the message may come in the simplest way. Sometimes the message is for someone else. That's right, Miss Cheryl. Sometimes the message is for some, someone else. And even though I'm crafting, there's a message all of it, all of it goes together hand in hand. We have ears, but don't hear because of all the distractions around us. And that's why sometimes God puts some things in our way so he can guide us. It's his way of guiding us. He sends these challenges sometimes that seem so undaunting. And it's in those challenges in those, those, in that adversity, when we feel defeated, that's where God, we ha we start to direct our attention on God sometimes and say, Lord, help me. Lord, help me because I can't fight this battle on my own. And so when you see things come your way, obstacles, just things that are trying to like, man, the devil is after me. He's on my back. It's in those situations where you have to say sometimes, you know what? Lord, I thank you that I had a flat tire today because it helped me avoid that accident if I was out there on that road. Lord, I thank you for me running late. Because I because you distracted me or protected me from something that was going to happen. Because there's so much stuff going around and we don't realize that God is protecting us all the time. All the time we're being protected. Yes. Woo. <laughs> Okay, y'all. I'm having a moment right now, okay?
Yeah, running late. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to fold these now, right? I'm just going to score these to get them a little bit more crisp, right? Right on the line there. Score that. Just fold these really good. Right on the score line. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Mm -mm -mm. Our life has many challenges. Dina Bauer, you're so right. They are only life lessons, not a life sentence. Exactly. And that's why the testimony is so important. Because someone needs to hear that testimony of how you overcame. Somebody needs to hear it. Hey, Yudi, how are you? Yudi, you've been busy too, huh? Beauty. Vicky Jensen. Okay, so I'm so you see how this is now? I have to cut this off, these little pieces here, because I need to really fold them up and glue them. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those little edges off. See this right here? Oh, wait a minute. Let me make sure I got it right here. Now I'm saying my dog started something. Now hers has to go out. Oh, I don't think I um, cut it in the right spot, but we're gonna we're gonna work it out. It's gonna work out. Okay, so let me do another one. Let me do another one, y'all. <laughs> I'm over here preaching, so I can't even like. <laughs> ah. Oh, Yudi, you'll, you'll get back to crafting soon. Okay, so you see how that is, y'all? Let me Let me just make sure I got this right. I cut too deep into that other one. Vicky can only stay a few minutes. We'll enjoy the few minutes that we have. Exactly. So right here is where I needed to cut. Here. And right here. Look at me second guessing myself still. Still. It's been a minute since I've done this, huh? Yuli says, I have lots of ideas about doing the little journals you are showing us. Can't wait. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, there we go. Sonia, okay. I think what it is, Yuli is, uh, I think, a tax accountant or something, a CPA or whatever. You. She's probably swamped right about now. Yeah. Okay, so that was what I did. I didn't do that part. Right, oh. but I'm going to make this work anyway. Michelle says, praise God for your good word. Thank you. Love oh, you. You're, you're so such welcome. Inspiration to me. Oh, my goodness. Welcome, Sonia Creole and Vicki Jensen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold and cut all of these. <laughs> While I can when remember. Doubt, cut them all. While I can remember. I saw Crystal put let go and let God up there. That's what made me start humming that song. Soon as I. Let me see what it says. Let me Let me get the words right here. 
As soon as I stop worrying, yeah. worry, worrying how the story ends, I let go and I let God, let God have his way. Let God have his way, right? Once again, and this is how it starts off. I couldn't seem to fall asleep. Who can relate to that? There's so much on my mind. Searching for that peace. The peace I could not find. Look where he found it though. So then I kneeled down to pray. Praying, help me please. But then he said, you don't have to cry. Because I'll supply all your needs. See what I'm saying? He, I know I'm not singing it like him, but the words, y'all. We're so busy worrying how the story's going to end, right? Mm, mm, mm. I think he said, what are you making, Tracy? <laughs> hey, I, you just, I, I see wanted, that fold in that I same wonder myself. black paper. No, I have others, babe. Okay. As long as I've been on here. <laughs> Vicky, I'm trying to make these. Just been wondering. I'm trying to make these paperclip things, okay? And it just wasn't doing right by me, but that's okay. And see, I should have cut this little piece off right here too. Let me see. This needs to go. That way, you don't have that thing sticking out too much. I need to go back and look at my own tutorial. You know? Man. Oh. Crystal, last night was... Uh, you were able to log in? I had a hard time um, logging in on the uh, Zoom. They had Asia's... Um, memorial ceremony going on last night. So you were able to hear the sun speak. My, I had, I kept getting that, uh, what's that spinning, that spinning uh, wheel going on mine. I was trying to uh, listen to it. Okay. What I should have done was this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a way to watch the replay. There's probably a way. Bill, I didn't say it like that. See, Vicky what said you, say, put, Vicky? you putting words in her mouth. You're talking about what on earth are you making? <laughs> he, he's got to look. Vicky, but you were thinking it, weren't you? He's got to embellish things. He's got to embellish I it. just said what you were thinking. I pulled it out of you. Okay. I help you. It's okay. It needs. Oh, what are y'all talking about? I must have missed something. Yudi was talking about something. Get in, put a glass of water under your bed. You will be able to sleep. Oh, that's one of those uh, island type oh, really? things, Yudi. Gaetan, I know about that up in Canada. Hmm. Gaetan, look under her bed and see a glass of water. She's going to be quite alarmed, okay? Oh, my God! Yudi, 
you I guarantee you are going to going to sleep. Oh wow. Worst case scenario, if you get thirsty, you'll have something to drink in the middle of the night. Beauty dropping some gems, huh? You said it's an island thing, okay? There you go. It's Sheila Overstreet. Thanks, Beauty. Look, everybody gonna go get some water and put it under the bed. What machine, Sarah Johnson? Oh, I know what I was supposed to do on this. This is what I was supposed to do, y'all. I was supposed to do this. And something like this, probably. Ooh, I couldn't get to sleep, but I sure wasn't thirsty. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. I slept. I got right to sleep because I picked the glass of water up. And I poured the water on Tracy and she knocked me right out. Okay, I slept all night long. Oh, that. for your breathing machine, Bill. Oh, no, I didn't get it, Sarah. They supposedly ordered an emergency yeah, one about sure. a month a month about, ago. About three months ago. <laughs> okay. And then they you went back to the doctor last month and they said, like, you still didn't get it? Like we didn't see not one thing. Hi, Overstreet Grand Kids. Oh. Her flight is says, if that's the case, Judy, then she needs an aquarium under her bed. Hi, grandkids. The Overstreet. Uh, look, hello, Sheila's grandkids. How are you? Hello, Sheila's grandkids. How are you? It's such a lovely day, and I'm glad you came to play. Hello, Sheila's grandkids. How are you? Uh, yes, Crystal, I can see your post. We see it. Maybe I should start putting a couple of these together. Y'all probably tired of seeing me fold this. But then again, it might be good practice for y'all too of what not to do. Naomi secret she puts on lavender vanilla body cream on her face and neck that makes her sleep like a baby. Mm. Oh, so Lily McGee, someone said, uh, your crafting buddy said you're always humming songs. That's me too. She I realize, hum, she hums, like huh? when I'm doing dishes, I'll sing, you know, but I only sing old school songs. I promise you these are going to be paper clip thingies. Sit and walk around the house like an old man, don't they? Something's wrong. I'm sending Tracy. Oh, on on uh oh you mean you're talking about not the chat, you're talking about on Facebook. Well, let me go look. Maybe that's what she's talking about. Maybe on Facebook. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and look. Yeah, we hadn't really gotten on there since it it uh wouldn't let us in, so I think that's going to work. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, Crystal, I just sent you a thumbs up. Tell me if you see it on Facebook. Uh... <laughs> my gra Cindy said, my granddaughter laughs because I'm always coming up with with a song that I hear words that are in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to change around words and stuff. Or anything that's a play on words. Y'all know we like to, to just add our own stuff in there. See ya, Yudi. Yeah, I wanted to see how these paper clips would look with... Um, with that marble paper. So that's what I'm doing right now, y'all. I cut the marble paper into strips. I made them smaller and then I printed them out. So I wanted to see what they would look like. Let me see how many thumbs ups I have. Let me refresh my screen here. We have 67 thumbs up. Yeah, there must be 67 people on here then. No, 124 ones, something like that. What? Cindy says, I just got the digitals. It's downloading. Oh, wow. Dee, 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 dee. That's when it's fifty six degrees in Montreal today. Wow. I think this is the one I didn't quite do right on this one. Let's see. I'm glad we came on live today. Glad we didn't cancel. Kamina, what's 74 billion? Seventy-four billion. What's that? Four billion. Not the lottery. Wait. We'll all be trying to get that money. Oh, she sees seventy. Oh, seventy-one. Uh, Bill. Oh, okay, okay. Seventy-one thumbs up. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. I'll go. I'd rather see seventy-one billion. I promise that this is going somewhere, y'all. Just let go. Karen Hankerson said, did you know that you could put marble marble paper on top, fold in half, glue a little side of paper clip alongside with the paper? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, huh? You got to remember, okay, hold on, <laughs> let me read it again. You could put paper, marble paper on top, you fold it in half, and you glue the little side of the paper clip inside along with the paper. You have to see that to make sure. She's trying to visualize that here. I see 73. I think I got it. Okay, Sarah Johnson. Sarah says she has to send you the latest short reel of her son singing. Oh, yes. I've been enjoying that. Send him. I saw it on um, Instagram. Sarah's son is the minister of music. Oh, Lordy, I didn't do the, I didn't score these. Okay, we're going to start making stuff. Okay, we're going to start making this. Okay, so what's going to happen is your paper clip is going to go in here, right? 
But for right now, I'm just going to glue this down. It's pretty windy outside. It's windy and rainy, but... It looks good out there, though. It would have been nice to take a walk, huh? Sarah's son is on fire. He is the um, minister of music at World Changers, right? Yep. And that is a huge church, okay? Okay, so we're gonna. This is gonna be like this. That's a dome. It's not really. That it's is gonna a... be like this. So when you, I'm just going down the sides, y'all. Okay, there's clips of uh, the service for Asia on. Um, Is it her son? Is that what she said? Okay, Asia's family has, uh, family members has clips of the service. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so once you put your paper clip on like that, right? Well, I want these sides to be flat, so let me just give that a little bit of time to dry. Okay, so once we just add your paper clip on there, I'm just going to do these sides here. Karen Hankerson is asking if anyone else in the name of the funeral home, she'd like to leave a message. Hmm? The name of the funeral home. It's probably on Asia's page. If you're on Facebook, if you go to Asia, Asia Rutledge, I'm sure someone put it up here. Oh, it is up there. Okay. She said it is up there. That's good. Okay, so I'm just adding my paper clip, and that's what gives it that little slot in between there where you can just fit it on your, your journal. Okay. Oh, you can leave a message on the guest book. Okay, great. Oh! Crystal. You said someone uh, from Mindless Crafting spoke for us at the service. She was at that was Saray. Saray Wallace. Saray Wallace. Uh, she told me she was going to be going. She was going to attend um, Asia's. She was leaving work early to attend. How beautiful is that? Wow. Hey, Michelle Knits for you. Oh, 
Oh, thank you so much for sharing that, Crystal. I'll have to go back and look. Because she did let me know that she was leaving work early to attend. And so that's one of our crafty sisters, uh, Saray, who, who uh, attended. These are, yes, and these are hidden paper clips. Okay. I just put the information right there. As far as the site, I don't really see. You'll look, be able to find it. If you look it up, you, you should probably be able to find it. Yes. These are hidden paper clips. So you, you notice I'm just slipping this on top, and then we have our decorative paper to add. So I'm just gluing the edges down now. And I will... Um, there's another... Is a tutorial that I did on these, but I wanted to see what they would look like with the marble paper. Oh, let me go that way first. Go this way, sides down first. You're welcome, Kamina. Gay Ten's gonna be celebrating her birthday all week. You know. And you don't have to use like this color, like the black. You can use like other colors too, you know. You can use some pretty pastel colors, would look nice. And since the paper clips are hidden, it doesn't matter what color the paper clips are. You could use the silver ones that, you know, you know, the little silver ones that the, the ones that you normally have. Yes. So, Gay Town, what did you do for your birthday? Okay, so just want this to really lay down like really good. These are good to send in happy mail too. Or you could use them in your journal. Oh, you called out for supper. Oh, that's always nice. So what do you do with those? You're going to attach something to them? Hmm? Those things right there. These, you can use them and put them on your... You don't remember me doing these, the paper clips? No, I thought you were going to do something with that. Yeah, on. I haven't gotten to that yet. Oh, okay. Someone's not paying attention, y'all. Oh, how sweet. 
You said you got a big package from Lily McGee. Well, I know that package must have been big. How sweet is that? Those fancy paper clips are so cute. This one I'm just going to bend up because I didn't. You see that right there? I don't know what happened. So I'm just going to bend it all the way up. Because guess what? It'll still work out. <laughs> it's only paper, right? Oh. So yeah, this is the one I cut too short. But it looks like it's still going to work out. Okay, this one up. It's only paper. That's right, Bertha. If it doesn't fit, cut it down. See, so that one is a little bit shorter. But that's okay because I could fit I could fit it to size. Okay. So when y'all get off of here, what are you doing once you get off the live? What is everyone doing? Is Are you going back on Facebook? Are you going to get in your room and continue crafting? What are you doing? Back on YouTube. Cleaning the house. Making yourself your favorite snack or lunch. And Ryan is babysitting. Oh. Deborah sure has to clean some stuff. Oh. Ava Lee's crafting and cleaning. Crafting and cleaning. Not necessarily in that order. Ava Lee's not exactly in that order, okay? Hey, Ted, that sounds like a question I would ask. It then says, does anyone have the sensation that perhaps their trimmer doesn't cut right? It's the trimmer. Bertha hey, says, so. I have a swap I'm working on for Easter. After Deborah Couture cleans a little, she's gonna nap or cook or craft. Preferably nap. You got options, huh? So this is gonna come on like this, and it's gonna fold over. Well, that's gonna be kind of cute. And it's gonna be like, like that. See how that is. And Guziak is going to a creative writing class after this. Oh, nice. Wow. G Gigi is making cards to donate to cards for Cubs. I love it. Beanie Freak is actually, actually scrapbooking for once. Okay, so I'm just coming right along here with this, y'all. And I'm going to put it, start right here. Taxes. Mm. Cindy W. has reading, housework, crafting, hustling, gardening. Anna Vasquez says she's at work watching this, of course, but mm. at work. <laughs> Anna, 
I'm telling Hannah. Crystal says physical therapy and then off to play with the grandkids. Oh. Well, thank y'all for stopping by and coming on the live with us. Dorothy and Miss Powers are finishing their 21 year old grandson's birthday journal. Oh, wow. I mean, it's exercising, lunching, and showering. Naomi's doing Christmas cards. No, Easter cards, not Christmas. <laughs> then the VO has dishes to do. And then early voting. Yeah, I, hey, I learned my lesson. Get the voting in early. If you're going to vote, do it early, okay? Do it early. I hit the age. I can't do the lines because... If I stand in a normal line, I have to go to the bathroom about 15 times, okay? Let's try another color on this one. I need to go as early as I can go. Kai Williams says this is crafting time for her. Love it. Don Connor is watching, listening, and creating in her craft room right now, even as we talk. I love it. 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 Okay, so this I'm going to push all the way down here. It gives me a little bit more leeway to, to measure, although I did put some of the glue on the outside, but that's okay. It'll dry clear. Okay, Kane's going to a BFF's apartment. Raylan and Woody says, I get to pick my grandkids up at school. Oh. These look so artsy. Linda Huffman finished that 132 page virtual scrapbook she was talking about. And oh, sent wow. Out to the sorority. Wow, that's a huge undertaking. Well, you were humping. See how song says, I'll be at home trying to figure my life out. There you go. Maybe I'll fit it in with a little bit of graphing or some kind. My life, that is. Yumi Stevens is a walk outside, taking some photos of spring flowers, and cuddling a kitty cat. I love that. I want to walk outside with my kitty cat. Okay. Put it on the paper. Just do it however makes it easier for you. Hi, Jan. Hi, Jan. Catherine Carr. Catherine Carr, that sounds, you have like a, like an athlete's name. The race was won by Catherine Carr. You'll never hear stuff like the race was won by Gertrude Gradesby. Uh, Catherine, you were wondering how does the paper, how, how, what do you mean? How does the paper what? I see your comment. She says, how does the paper clip work if you carbon it up with the paper? Ah, that's the beauty behind it. That's the beauty. Let me show you. Let that dry a little bit more. The paper clip is in here, but you don't see it, right? Because it's a hidden paper clip. So let's let me show you. I could tell you, but then if I show you, it slips right on here. Look at this. See that? Push it right down on there. Look at that. 
That's how it works. Ooh. I was amazed too. When I first started making these, I was like, if that is not a genius idea. There you go. And I do have a tutorial for this too, so I'll I'll share it. Um, because I know I have had made some happy accidents on this one, but I will share the straight tutorial with you. It's a bookmark too. It sure is. Yeah. And you could personalize it. You could put a little quote, a little quote on there too. Wow, it is very windy, y'all. <laughs> Wait a minute. So Tracy told me that the wind in California was 170 miles an hour the other day. I believe it is. California is being hit like big time. I don't know if it stopped by now, but I know California, whoever's out there in California, y'all be safe. Y'all getting a little bit of everything. Snow, wind, rain, fire, you know, it's all kind of stuff going on. And Ryan says they have rain for the next three days. Okay. And what, what uh, state do you live in, Ann? Oh, she's not in California? I'm not sure. Linda said they had gusts of wind up to 70 Man, this Linda? past weekend. That's pretty fast. Okay, Ann's in Massachusetts. Okay, here we go. Linda Huffman says those 70 mile an hour winds came from Cali over the mountains. Mm. So if I was to do this right here, thinking about something else and I don't need to be thinking. Yes, I'm sir. starting to think, y'all. All right. You want to let lady know. Okay. Right. Um, I don't need to be thinking, y'all, but I am. Thinking is good. <laughs> Let's see. So I got a little thing here. What? Yep, I heard about that too, uh, Bertha. She says Northern California had a huge snowstorm. Didn't you say 10 feet or something? It was pretty big, yeah. I mean, I think that's what I I read. California is getting it in droves, seriously. I mean, the weather doesn't even make sense uh, out that way. You can't even predict it. Oh, this is the little small one, isn't it? This is the little tiny one that I cut too short, supposedly. Man, Linda Huffman, be careful out there. Linda says she has to be careful if those winds knocked her down and broke her finger last year. Oh, my goodness. That's some wind right there. Would that be able to stay in there if I did that? Huh. What am I thinking, y'all? What am I thinking? Reindeer plus. <laughs> Man, Linda Huffman. Linda said she was driving on the highway and her RAV4 felt like it was going to flip over. You oh wow, home. that's so that stuff is over. Yeah, that's pretty intense. 
Okay, so I'm just putting this on over this for the support, right? And then I'm going to glue this down. I'm just making this up now, y'all. I'm, I'm kind of engineering this the way I want it to go. <laughs> and as you make enough of these, you'll start to see other things you can do, right? So I'm just using that little scrap just to cover, just as a cover-up for right now. And I have this little thing sticking out. Okay. Something like that, right? What? Then the helper says she calls it desert hurricane. Oh my goodness. She's the wind. It blows trampolines on top of houses, literally. That would be messed up. You remember when Oz lifted the um the, 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 the umbrella? Oh, and it's it's kind of windy. All the way right down now. the street. It, from the backyard. It lifted all the way up. Over the house. Up next to us. Thank goodness it didn't go through anyone's window. Into the street. Or into someone's car and enter someone. Or both. Well, they said it winds, uh, uh, the, the power generated by the wind during a hurricane can actually place a straw through a wooden board without breaking the straw. That's mm, a force. Mm, mm. And you could use a different color on there too, y'all. Just uh, showing you what can be, what's possible. So, so let me see if I could put some tool in there. You could place a dangler on the exposed end of a clip and start a new look. Oh, that would be pretty. It's time to do a new look. That would be pretty. Bye, Carmina. I could make some paper beads too, couldn't I? Sonny Pure coming up with stuff. What a good idea. Yes, you can do that. Yes, you can. So it can, does yes, work. You can, can, why can't you? If you wanna. It does work. Bye, Donna. Donna says, I need to run. See everyone Thursday. Bye. All right, Donna. You can use. Use what? Several of these on here. You can use some twine. <laughs> Sonia said, I know things, Bill. Mm. Dangle would be so cute. Paper bead would be nice on this, too. Oh, what am I doing here? If I knew, I, I don't have this planned out, so it's basically just, hey, in your craft room creating. Okay, there we go. So I can hang something from this. Some pretty little you could put add a bead or a gem to this. Ooh, paper beads would be nice. You can do paper beads. Ooh, paper beads in the marble paper. I'm not sure how that would look, but that would be nice to give that a try. Some paper beads would look really cute on these. That's another good idea. There you go. Okay, almost done, y'all. That's just another way to do it, this little thing.
Is that one or two? That's one. Okay. Bill, look at the color of your pants on here. Look how pretty. Is it awesome? You want me to go get them again? Nope, I sure don't. It, on here. <laughs> <laughs> I said, look at the color of your pants on here. Okay. See, Bertha, she, Tracy don't know about that, about, about hot sands and stuff like that, okay? Bertha, like, uh, I don't know about hot sands either. Bertha! <laughs> Y'all, the bad, when I was growing up, the baddest clothing, men's clothing shop in Detroit was a place called Hot Sam's, boy. Woo, what you talking about? Did they sell those pants? Let me tell you something. Steve did they Harry sell, was, all I want to know is, did they sell those pants? And Steve if they Harry did, probably they, did his shopping up and got his <laughs> ideas of Hot Sam's, okay? <sighs> Cindy is not playing. She said she just got her order and extracted into her files. Downloaded and ex extracted. She was not playing. Sonia Creel says, do another exposed paper clip. Uh, Tracy, you could create a tutorial with those paper bead danglers. Ooh. That would be fun. Oh, I keep putting it on there and so I don't want to go over. She like get a dozen of those in the store. You could step a sentiment on them, like miss you, love you, good morning. Yes, you stuff. can. You sure can. And Hubba says, reminds me of Miss Seely's pants on the color purple every time you say that. <laughs> Okay. Bill, your blue is looking quite exactly white. I feel embarrassed that you said something about my blue pants. Now, don't. Mm -mm. So nope, I sure here. don't. I don't feel bad about that. Nope, not at all. I had to do it, y'all. Hot Sam's, baby, okay? I had to do it. If y'all... I lived in Saginaw. We were 100 miles in Detroit. We People from all over. Saginaw, Flint, every, we, everybody drove to Hot Sam's in Detroit. I'm sorry, okay? There Just was no this... invitations. You had to go to Hot Sam's, okay? If you wanted to have a Hot Sam's, look, you had to go to Sam. Oz is just as good. No, yours ain't just as good as no Hot Sam's. I'm just trying to say that. <laughs> they saw they did all the colors in the rainbow, I huh? Wore them all. I see. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. I have one in this color yet. I don't have one in this color. Now I got to get a blue, a blue plate paper clip would be nice on this one. Exactly. <laughs> Not because of that, Bill. Y'all, Tracy made this chocolate cake. Please. With vanilla ice cream? Actually, I made because Chelsea and Manny were here. The cake was not plain. And I didn't play with it. I'm just going to cut a little piece of this off, y'all, right here. Oh, the stitching makes it look like a piece of cloth. I'm going to do it on the other side, but I want to wait. If you don't like stitching, turn your head, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or squiggly lines. 
Sarah Johnson said, I only got one question to ask. Where is Bruce Lee? Ooh. John Pounds. Did John Pounds get up in here? I don't see Bruce Lee right now. John Pounds. And Jill not here, here either. They must have did it. They must have been in cahoots. John Pound and Jill's got us, Tracy. That's a good question, Sarah. Here's... Here he is. Oh, sorry, John he, and Jill. He fell down in the uh my little crack bin. Said he said I need to make an angel food cake. Ooh, I don't want that to go too far down, so I'm just keeping it right there. Used to make a, well, not really. The strawberry shortcakes, well, she didn't make the cake part. She wouldn't have bought that. But the strawberry, she would start working on it the day in advance. And by the time she got through with it, let it soak overnight with, it, with all the stuff she did to it. At the end of whipped cream, please. What are you talking about? Amy Cave. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. Actually, I didn't even need to put that on here. I could have just cut a hole into this one. The other one I did because it was too short. But this one is just the right size, I believe it is. So I didn't even need to do all of that. I'm doing too much, y'all. I'm doing you too much. You know what I'm saying? Gay Tan, uh, you said, when you say orange ice cream, do you mean like orange sherbet? That she, sounds like that would be good. She had chocolate cake with orange ice cream. Oh, with orange ice cream. Oh. Huh. That would work. Whenever Tracy lets me pick out that would work. Pick out ice cream to get. It's usually some kind of sherbet. Whenever Tracy lets you. You don't let me that often. I mean, you know, not not let me just go and pick. Sometimes I'll have to just sneak and get vanilla. You know what? Cereal or something. Because Bill would sit there and, and eat the whole whatever by himself. Okay. I've been for so long. Well, you know. No ice cream. No blue pants. I mean, what's the man to do? Mm. What? He's feeling, deprived. He's feeling deprived of the hospital, y'all. Say, tell him, telling Mr. Murphy. I'm going to let him just stay right there since he is feeling deprived. Clay, let me tell you what Clayton did, friends. She said, my hubby used to have, used to now, used to have pants that I didn't like when he wore them. <laughs> so I washed them and bleached. took them out of the dryer and threw them behind the dryer. He wasn't going to look. But my son found them. When he moved. Hmm. But who moved the son? Yeah, you know, he probably didn't move till he became at least 18. When did you throw him out of the dryer when he was one? <laughs> Claytona. Claytona, I love it. <laughs> Deborah Couture says she's going to make her a pokey cake. For our birthday. Hmm. You heard of that? That was your pokey what cake? Is what is a pokey cake, Deborah? Oh my goodness. Angel food with lemon frosting. Oh yes. Cindy W, I can feel your pain. Cindy says, hey, let me have sherbet at the hospital, but all the food was without salt. Yuck. Well, you talking about bland, you know how hard it is to eat just food because we just gonna boil stuff in water. That's it. Okay. Eat it and weep. We're not going down this road, y'all. We're not. What is pokey cake? Because Bill will be running out to get all kind of stuff. I have to know. He's saying it's bland, but the pills are bland, too. They don't have any salt in them. How do you know? I don't know. That's right. I don't know. <laughs> thank, thank you, Lord. I don't know. So are they salty? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, there you okay. go. Okay. Let me see what pokey cake <laughs> is, Tracy. 
the Abacute Shore says, it can you mix and poke holes for a green jello over cake top with frosting and garnish with green coconut flakes. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's not pokey, just poke. Bill just <laughs> Hey. <sighs> That's that different. Like that would be delicious. I'll give it a shot. Okay, so here it is, y'all. Oh, here I gotta put it I gotta put stitching on this side now too. Gotta put stitching on this side too. Strawberry, you woke up. Strawberry said, I hurt. Uh oh, my pen is running out. I can't have that. Strawberry is Where awake, y'all. Other pen. I'm trying to dry, get every yes, smidgen. Yes, see what? We are still alive. I'm trying to get every smidgen of. Uh, Lily McGee says, Bill, now Gay Ted can use humpers along with me. Oh, nice. I'm going to have to do something, a card, and have Gay Ted do a card at the same time. And you know I'm using humpers, okay? Oh, for newcomers, humpers is mounting date. I don't want to scare y'all off. Child, I, I went to this new channel. They talking about humpers or something. I had to change the channel. <laughs> Let them all. And they were doing outdated stitching while wearing blue pants. <laughs> I'm using every bit of my gel pen ink. Bertha says, I don't like coconut. What else can you use? You know, Bertha, I generally don't like coconut, coconut. But my grandmother used to make this coconut cake. And she made this stuff called ambrosia, where she took like a... Fruit cocktail. Jill Pounds. With uh, <laughs> coconut and some more stuff. Anyway, she would make it real cold in the refrigerator. And you take it and put it on top of the pound, on top of the coconut cake. You're talking about good. Jill Pounds on here. Jill Pounds, she you must have heard me. Who's in cahoots with who? Jill Pounds heard me talking about her and John. Jill and John. Jill and John went up the hill. No, oh, John and Jill went up the hill. That's what I should have said. So this is how it would go on here, y'all. I love the hidden paper clip. It's just so, so fun to make. Uh oh, Tracy, this is that the double-sided humpers are back. In full Ooh, stock. In full stock. You're trying to trade them out with some other stuff. Yeah, that's a little see. bit flimsy. Look see that, y'all? Yes. Oh, Selena, she says, Tracy. Tracy, I love all the birds. But the birds with the black and golden wing, yellow wings is banging on the marble paper, Tracy. Oh, you love it. Oh, good. I'm so glad you like that. Selena, that, those are my favorite birds, too. I'm glad you like that. Thank you. So the more you push this down, the tighter it gets. Okay, so this is how the paper clip. It's hidden, so you don't see it in there, which is nice. So you can make a ton of these and give them away. And people be like, hidden paper clip? How is this one isn't hidden, but, you know. How on earth do you do that? So maybe I'll do some wooden beads on Thursday. I think that might be fun. Do a couple of wooden beads. They go pretty quick. Oh. That's why she came in here. There we go, y'all. Y'all are going <laughs> to, let me see what y'all talking about. <laughs> Aren't 
aren't those clips? The paper clips, y'all, are so cute. Let me see. So this one would go really well. I just realized that these would go well with this one here. With the spring kit, right? Look at that. That one would go well here, too. It's got all the colors. This is the Masterboard journal. Or you could, you don't have to stick it on there. You can stick it right on the side there, right? That adds a nice little, nice little thing right there if you just do it on the side. Right there on the sides. Let's see what it looks like when we put one on all the sides here. Let's see if we can fit one on there. Cutesy! Look at that. So just showing y'all what you can put oh, that adds a nice little feature to that. Look at that. Ooh. Yes, they do make great bookmarks. I, I'm liking the way it looks like this. Look at that, y'all. Ooh. Hidden paper clips. I couldn't put on that one. Where's the shorter one? Let's see. The short, short one that didn't, this one right here, may be on the cover. Let's see. Just all these little ideas that's, and then I didn't even get to add like little sparkly stuff. You could add little sayings on there. You can make this for someone. I had to remember how to make these because I just couldn't like <laughs> look how cute that looks y'all oh my goodness Ooh, another idea hey Saray we were just talking about you you'll have to watch the replay we were just talking about you A good yes, this is a, a good way to use up your scraps. Yep. And so I have a couple more left over. But I think some paper beads dangling from this would be nice. So like if you have something like this, you got the paper beads dangling from it, I think would look really nice. Bill, Bill is downstairs. He had to take the dog out. He's on dog duty. He had to take <laughs> dog duty, I should say. <laughs> He's on dog duty. It does give it a different look, doesn't it? But could you imagine the marble paper? So maybe you might want to send someone a birthday card, right? And so you use your marble paper. And you just put it against here. Now, if you said, okay, I want to put maybe another color. Maybe you want to do the black around the edge. What do y'all think about that? Just, just showing y'all just so you can see what it might look like. So if you wanted to say, oh, I just want to do it like this. Or you might say... I want to take the marble paper and just have a little edge around it and then add it on to my base. Eileen, how do you make paper be? Eileen, you're going to love it. I used to teach the kids, the teenagers loved it, how to um, make paper beads. So we'll do that on Thursday. How cute is that? 
Have you made a video about paper beads? I need to make one. I thought I made one. I don't think so. I thought I made one. Huh. I cannot remember. We have almost 1,500 videos on here, and I cannot remember. I feel like I did a paper bead, but it was a different kind of bead. I have to go look. I don't think I did a paper bead, like a straight paper bead tutorial. I don't think so. It might be in a tutorial, within a tutorial, but I don't even remember which one that was. But yeah, like I was saying, y'all can do something like... Like this. And then add that on. That black really brings it out. Depending on how you want to do that. Let's see. I have a green base too. Like a darker green. This is where I do like the little fashion show thing. Strawberry is back in so Bill must be somewhere close by. Something like that. Just showing you. I did on a live, Gay 10, you think so? Huh. I can't remember. Maybe I just need to do a straight tutorial. But I'll show you some using um I'll show you on Thursday how to how to do the paper. It's pretty pretty easy. Yes, you can use the marble paper to this is a download. You can use the marble paper to do the uh, cards, to make cards. And all you need to do is add a sentiment on there. All you have to do is add a sentiment. How pretty is that going to be? Can you imagine all the different ideas with that? Hmm. Marble paper. My mom made paper beads. I still uh, make them for jewelry. Uh, I would love to see how you do it. See La France, they are so fun. We used to and the thing is, when I did them with the teenage, it would be my teen program at the library. We'd do paper bead jewelry or something like that. I think we made like bracelets or something. And we would make them out of newspaper. And the kids would get so fascinated. Like, oh my goodness, how on earth? I mean, it, was, it comes together so nicely. The paper is doing the work for sure. The paper is definitely doing the work. And then if you want, I'm waiting for Bill to come back up before I log off because he'll be like, you logged off without me. <laughs> Let's see. We could use some of the sentiments. Let's see. Let's have some. Oh. I know y'all have a bunch of these little I'm looking for some that would actually fit on here. Right, like you could use some of these. Like the do what you love. Let me just see how this would look on here. Especially with the black now on here, right? And then you just use your sentiment and just put it right on here. I need to, it's not sticky enough for me, so I like to add some glue. And so now you get to put a little sentiment on here. Or if you have some, a lot of lighter space, you could always stamp it too. But wouldn't that be a cute little bookmark for someone? What kind of supplies do you need for the paper beads? 
glue and paper and maybe something like, let's see. You can use a toothpick or you can use like a skewer. Like you can shorten this, um, you know, and use the skewer as... So all you need to have is some some paper. You can use whatever paper. I'll show you how to how to do the paper on Thursday. A skewer and some glue. I'm I'm probably just going to use the art glitter glue, but I believe we use like Elmer's glue when we were at the library. I believe I used Elmer's glue and glue sticks. Some of us use glue sticks. So it was kind of whatever. It was a great craft to do with kids, and it was. Great way to budget, but I this is what I would use. And that's it. Oh, Saray. Saray said, I want everyone to know that I love them. Oh, I love you too, Saray. I love all of you and and my crafty family. Anyone that's on this live and doesn't feel like they're loved, we love you. Come as you are. So sweet. I appreciate that, Saray. And I appreciate you going to um, Saray's memorial. Tracy, did you see the quilling card? Uh, was it in, on Facebook? I was trying to go in there, but I hadn't gotten to see. I haven't gotten to, to you know, we've been busy. <laughs> hey, BD Crafts. Yeah, so this is, just get a skewer. Something that's slender enough where you can slip it on. I'm going to probably cut this so that it's shorter. Or I could use a toothpick. Toothpick will work too. Toothpick will work also. Don't overthink it. And then get some pretty paper. I um, mean, if you wanted to use just white paper, if you wanted to use just white paper, you could use that for your bead. If you want your bead to be white, you can do that. But great way to use up your scraps. So even this, this will work for paper beads. Any anything really goes, right? It just has to be able to kind of bend and be able to like go around, loop around several times. Oh, you know what? Quilling cards. This someone in our group used to uh, post a lot of cards with quilling. If you, I, I bet if you looked up and search in our group quilling, you'll see uh, some inspiration. Magazine pages, book pages, newspapers. Uh, oh, see, LaFrance, you used past, my mom used past uh, church bulletins. Yeah, great way to recycle. I would think like the calendar pages would be nice. They got that little shine to them. Oh, y'all are so sweet. And of course our garbage pickup is right on time. So, Bill, are you coming back up? Hmm. Not sure if Bill is coming back up, huh? Let me see what other sentiments I can find for these. He'll be the first one. Why did you log off before I came up? Because <laughs> you didn't come up. Look at this. Someone needs to hear this right here. Just breathe. Just breathe. Oh, I'm going to take the top off of that. Just breathe.
We were waiting for you, babe. No. Oh, he had both dogs out. And then by the time, you know, Senator won't go out with Strawberry out there. Right. When Strawberry came back. They got you trained. Then he went. And then instead of Strawberry saw Senator go out, he had to go out again just because he saw him go out. Mm. <laughs> The dogs, they're so spoiled, y'all. Just adding that sentiment. The paper does do the work on that marble paper. That one I don't want to put a scent. Oh, you know what? I have white stitching, and this says be original. So I'm going to be original and put this. I'm going to put this one on here. So Ray's on here? Yes. We were just waiting Saray! for you to, um, to come back up before we log off. Oh, Sir Ray says I want everyone to know that I love them. Oh, we yeah, we have been through that. You probably are behind in the I comments. am. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, so Ray, so Ray. Oh, here's a good one. Never give up. Whatever you say, you say. <laughs> she said, I say he's a lot. They're just like little kids, right? <laughs> oh, look at that, y'all, on the yellow. The yellow and green. Look at look how pretty. Look how pretty. Okay, this one is off just by a little bit on the edges. But you know what? It's okay. What is Cindy W talking about that sounds like Key Lime Pie? Let me go into the history here. Oh, you honed in on that, huh? Let's see. Oh, someone needs to hear this one. You are enough. We say that all the time, right? You are enough. But do you believe it? We saw a lady in the uh, Dollar Street the other day had a shirt on. She's been trained, and her shirt said, You are enough. It said, I am enough. She sure did. The other said, I am enough. Eileen Moore says, Put a little flow on, Tracy. Or, or do you mean flower? It says flow. But it might mean flower. It has flowers on it. More flowers? You can't have more. You can't have enough flowers. You can never have enough flowers, right? Dave Millsap says, "I am going to go and make some hidden paper clips this afternoon." Oh, I love it. Zell Swarm says, "Did you print the marble paper on sixty-five pound paper?" Uh the marble paper is actually on ninety-pound paper. But if, you got, if all you have is 65, you can make it work. Come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you, tomorrow, you're only a day away. When I look at a day that's gray, and lonely i just stick out my chin and grin and say the sun will come out tomorrow bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow There'll be sun Just thinking about Tomorrow What is it? I forgot what it says Hey, the cobwebs <laughs> And the sorrow That's from the Cara Burnett one, huh? Hmm? What? That's all uh, You know, the Cara no, Burnett No, that's family. Annie The Cara Burnett one um, I think all of them have that one in there. Jamie Foxx, they did. They, when he's in a... Jamie Foxx? Yeah. Mm. I believe. 
I don't know now. <laughs> Cal Burnett played I this, uh, what's Burnett her name? One. What's her name? I forgot her name the now. Mean Lady. The Mean Lady. What is that lady's name? Mean Miss, Lady. Miss Such. I can hear the kids saying it. That was her name, Mean Lady. Hold up. Is that Jared? Come on, Don River Motor City Jazz Series. What? Come on, get Tracy to join you on stage this summer. Oh, Jared, look. Okay, so Down River Motor City Jazz Series. That is our cousin on here right now, Jared. The birth of Jared is in your neck in the woods. Y'all ja need to, he's having a whole jazz series coming on. Look, uh, look, I'm auditioning, Jared, I'm auditioning. Step right up, hurry, hurry, <laughs> before the show begins, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> look, Jared's like, y'all better get, get, he talking about get me to audition. Nobody what? coming to see me. Let the side show. Oh, what's our song we always sing? Jared, I'm auditioning right now. When I come home from working, you're on the phone. Mm. Jared, y'all sing those songs? Jazz City. Talking about how bad I treat you. Now tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> I say it's you because it is you say it's me because it is <laughs> <laughs> wake up to make no i thought it was break up no you don't wake up to break up you wake no, up no you to break make up. up to make up huh so you what are you waking up for i don't know <laughs> You probably need to go back oh, to sleep, okay? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <sighs> that is hilarious. Jared, I wouldn't be able to keep a straight face. Okay. Especially if they start really jamming. Look, we, we auditioning now, Jared. No one know we auditioning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don ready. Connor. Football. Bill want to, cause Bill gonna interject in every like line that I sing. He gonna want to say something, and then when I look at his face, I'll start cracking up. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm glad we got to come on here, y'all today. I'm glad we got to come on. This was fun, and someone needed a little laugh. And our cousin Jared is on here too. Sure is. I guess it's true. Mm. Cause I'm stone in love with you. I don't know the rest of the song, Jared. Nobody does. Look, we da, da, da. <laughs> Da, 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 da. No one knows the words. Overnight sensation. Overnight sensation. Expensive car. <laughs> Jared's like, I, I hate that I even asked him to audition. <laughs> da, 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 da. These things are true Cause I'm stone in love with you You Exactly <laughs> So Jared, what, you, were you at home? Jared ran away, we chased him away Oh, I'm glad If I look, Ava Lee putting the words up. If I could, 
I'd like to be a great big movie star. I would like that too. Overnight sensation. Overnight sensation. Drive a big expensive car. What's the next one? I don't know. Bill, why are you? What? Look at Bill. Okay, Bill. He gonna have us on here longer. One of my favorite roller skating songs. Oh, what's it? Jared. Hey y'all, I have Jared on on the on the line here. Hey, hey everybody, how y'all doing? <laughs> Jared is here. Jared is here from um he's down he is Down River Motor City Jazz Series. So y'all need y'all need to follow him. So Bertha, that's in your neck of the woods, Jared. Bertha Bless Wilson is from Detroit, so she might not even have even awesome. been to the jazz festival. Yeah, it's gonna be happening each and every Saturday in the month of June. We even adding Tim Tim Bowman onto the show, so it's gonna be an awesome, awesome event. So every Saturday in June, John Diggle Park on Detroit River, awesome show. Hey, hey Jared, try to get Bill Tracy to come up. Hey Jared, we, we have on here a, a, a young lady here. Her name is Ava Lee. Her her son-in-law is named Warren Wolf. He's one of the top xylophone players in the world. Jazz. Yeah, he's phenomenal. Wow. wow. You need to get Warren Wolf up there, boy. <laughs> what you talking about? Where does he live? Where does he live? Ava Lee, where does Warren li Wolf live? Warren Wolf is no joke, okay? Jared, serious business. Bill. Yeah. You know, Just Justin Lee Schultz uh, stays up in Grand Rapids. Really? Wait a yeah. minute. Yeah, Sonia yeah. Krill said we went. Can you get that? You got to get Justin Lee up there. Uh, Tracy, Justin Lee's that kid to let you hear the play, the piano, oh, and good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, this kid is bad. He's in Michigan already, bro. Oh my God, you got to get him there. Oh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be a nice one. Vibraphone. Hey, y'all, there's a kid named Justin Lee Schultz. If y'all look him up, he's a young kid, but even since he was little, uh, I'm, I, I mean, I'm talking like five and six years old, he was jamming at a, at a superior level even then. The whole family builds, sister, and a dad. But this guy plays everything, guitar, piano, horns, all kind of stuff. Anyway, y'all, let's got Jared on here just for novelty. So J June, Saturdays in June, and what's the name of the place? Did y'all gonna be John, playing? John Dingle Park, the Down River Motor City Jazz Series. Okay, gotcha. All right, so now Jared, I try to hit you back after this live. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all can resist that, y'all. Couldn't resist it. Yes, Elizabeth Longworth, we're still here. We're getting ready to get off, but Bill had to make a call. We're getting ready to get off, though. So, yeah, on Thursday, I will show y'all how to make the paper beads. It's super easy. Super easy. Is he going to stream? Oh, that's a good idea. I, he, did he stream last year? I don't know. He, he's, I think he did live streams on... Uh, on... Uh, on Facebook. Before we go, make sure you hide this from Jill and John. Mm. In case they get in here somehow. Elizabeth says she's working. No, Elizabeth. Elizabeth is supposed to be working. Y'all have a great day. I'm glad that Facebook didn't work and that I didn't get to cancel the live stream. I feel so much better that we were able to connect today. So much better. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, head off of here and get back to work. Oh, you're welcome, Emmy Stevens. She said, thank you, Tracy and Bill. Don't forget we have this 24-hour uh, flash sale going on for National Crafting Month. It's 30% off the entire order. Yep. And that's on top of some. Is that's on top of some of the discounts? Yeah, there are a lot there. of some. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's some great so it's, stuff. So you can actually it's combined with other discounts. So you get a really great deal, y'all. 
for National Craft Month. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and head off. We'll see y'all on Thursday. And y'all stay, stay safe. Be blessed. Right? Don't get caught up in when stuff don't go the way you want them to go. Still thank God in the in even in that that little thing that may have happened and you're like, oh, I just why did this happen? Don't get frustrated. Say thank you, Lord. I don't know what why you did this, but I trust. I trust that it's it'll be all right. You were protecting me from something. Y'all take care, and we'll see you soon. Love y'all so much. Bye. Bye. Emmy Stevens said I needed that reminder for this week.